Well, it is quite a delight for me to be standing in one of the four beautiful gardens that is going to be on the Inviting Vines tour today, and I'm here with Dale. And Dale, you are the proud owner of this stunning garden, right? Yes, I am. So tell me, did you design this? Because it's beautiful. Heavens, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you had someone help. <laughs> yes. But then, you know, you get to still live here and be a part of this garden. So what, what made you think, ah, Clematis, I want to get those involved in this garden. Well, that's entirely Phyllis's fault. Is it? <laughs> yes, yeah. Phyllis got me involved in the Rogers and Clematis garden about six years ago, convinced me that I needed to become a gardener. Right. I've always been a putterer. Right. <laughs> and um, and uh, the rest is history, really. Because it really has, you know, in, in talking with you before we did this segment, it really has opened you up to a part of gardening that you really are not a putterer much anymore. You really love what you do out here. Yeah, I do. I really do like it. And then I, I was wondering, when, when you get this, this tour today, um, how does that make you feel to know all these people are coming just to see this garden? Well, a little jittery actually, <laughs> but um, you know, it, it is beautiful and, and I've been told for years by Lucy and Phyllis that I need to share the garden with others. Right, um, right. Some suggested I should have weddings here. Yeah. I said, I don't think so. So how many, how many clematis do you actually have in this garden? I have 20. Wow, wow. Yeah. And I bet you know almost every single name of them, don't you? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm also here with Phyllis. Now, Phyllis, tell me, tell me how it is that you're involved in the Inviting Vines tour. Well, I'm on the board of the Friends of Rogers and Clematis Collection, and we house the collection. It's the only accredited Clematis collection in North America, right, right. and we house it at Lusher Farm, nice. which is in the city of Lake Oswego Park, and um, it's open to the public dawn to dusk, and this is our major fundraiser for our event, for us. So, uh, as a major fundraiser, what is it? What does it do? The, what does that fundraising do to benefit? The well, it pays for everything from our, our curatorial services that we have, our curator, Linda Butler. It pays for everything from hardscape, gravel, mulch. So upkeep plants, really is upkeep, a lot all of All the upkeep of the garden is paid for through this fundraiser and our plant sales and a number of other means. So then we've got, um, we've got this garden today, but we've also got three other gardens that are on this tour on Saturday, right? That's correct, and they all could not be more different. Right. So you have, this is a suburban garden. We have a country garden, that's three acres. We have a home on the lake, and we have a small garden back in first edition again. And so we're going to go to another garden soon. Which, which one is that one that it's we're going to It's Sue Cassidy, about? and it's out in the country. It's a three acre garden. Wonderful, wonderful. So uh, there you have it. Now we're gonna take a minute and go to this other beautiful garden. So I'm out in the beautiful country of Wilsonville and I'm at another wonderful garden. It's the country garden that we'll be visiting on the, uh, on the tour today. And I have to say I'm here with Susan. And Susan, uh, and I ask this question only because I'm intrigued at how people get such beautiful gardens. Mm -hmm. Are you the one that came up with the idea of creating this? Well, I wanted to create this. Right. <laughs> but the <laughs> skill set, didn't, you, yeah, you didn't no, feel you had that. No, no. So Lucy Hardiman, a friend of mine recommended her, and I didn't know anything about her. She came here, and she saw the house, and um, she basically said, gosh, your house is so geometric. I want to give you lady curves. Oh, and that so, sounds like Lucy. <laughs> yeah, so she gave me lady curves with exclamation points all over the yard. So when you come, you'll see lots of curves and lots of, vertical. Um, and the, the point of all of this though is you are really happy with it. You love this garden. I just, I love it. And I you have it. even started putting, yeah, granted there's, you have five clematis in here right now currently, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but that's, you plan on doing more, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to put it all over the yard. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. So thank you so much, yeah. Susan. Uh, all right. So, okay, Phyllis, now here we are again. And I have to say, tell me about, because these two gardens alone have been so exquisite and uniquely different, so tell me about the other couple involved. Okay, we have one garden that's on the lake in Lake Oswego. Um, it's on about a third of an acre and it's a deep ravine and the owner has beautiful and magnificent art pieces, but also has naturalized the entire area. Nice. So you have a view of the lake, plus you have a really natural, beautiful setting. And then the fourth garden is small, intimate for a really active family in the first edition area of Lake Oswego where we had three gardens last year. Wonderful. Now, um, this, this is happening today, so tell me, 
can people still join? How do they buy the tip? All of that behind the scenes stuff that's right. so important. All right. Well, we had a breakfast this morning with a speaker, Morris Horn. Um, we still have tickets left for this afternoon's tea with you and Judy right. as our right. special hosts and guests. Um, and we have tickets available for that. And we have, and that can be purchased at the farm or you can purchase at any of the four gardens that are open. Um, and uh, anytime you want to come to Losher Farm today at the garden, uh, general tour tickets are open and, and tea tickets are available. So really there's not a cutoff time. There's, if you get there and you want to buy a ticket, you That's can right. buy it and go right. on the tour. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, you know, I tell you that Judy and I have been on this tour more than once already and we have had such an exquisite time every single time. The gardens are all lovely and the people that actually are the owners or the ones we met are lovely as well. So if you haven't signed up yet, you still can. Just be sure to go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to their website. Come to any of the gardens, get your ticket, and enjoy the beautiful gardens on this tour. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Thanks.